my name is Mercy Mausiku Koi, Mrs. Uh, and uh, I have two kids and I work with Compassion International Ghana office as a training specialist. A, a position I've held since 2011 till now. I offered adult education and specialized in community development. I enrolled in um, 2014, that's September, and graduated recently, that's November 2015. And I decided to offer that program because of my work. Compassion International works with local churches to deliver what we call holistic child development programs. And by that, we do a lot of capacity building programs for them. We develop their capacity to be able to advocate for deprived children, to mobilize community resources, to top up the support we give them. The first challenge was a family challenge, family related. The second was the fact that uh, everybody is aware that to maintain a fine balance between work and school and be on top of issues isn't, isn't a pleasant journey. It's, it wasn't going to be a, pleas a pleasant journey. Uh, but all the same, we managed to cope with it. And then thirdly, my role, as I told you, involved a lot of travel because we partner so far 238 churches across the country and so there were many times that I even had to miss lectures because I was out of Accra and it was a major hurdle to cross. She is Patience Antonio, Mrs. Yeah. In fact, she even inspired me to begin the program altogether because if you ask me I can give you tons of reasons why I will not be able to further my education. When I chose to study at Wisconsin, it was basically the proximity issues and of course the evening programs because I tried other institutions and they asked me to come for a regular program uh, which I couldn't afford because I couldn't just boycott job to pursue education. That is not possible in our current economy. And so for these three reasons I decided to come. But when I got here I realized there was something more. Something more in that the class size was very small and that offered us personal touch with lectures and so because of the size of the class lectures were basically discussions discussions zeroing in on our experience the experiences we already have before they were they built on again uh, the culture of learning here was like figure it out yourself that was what the lecturers exposed us to it wasn't like spoon feeding but you have to figure it out and so that promoted a lot of reading and though that was time consuming and demanding it was intellectually stimulating before I came on I facilitated my trainings in a manner that my participants admired a lot. But personally, I knew there was something missing. I, I knew I had to add some professional touch to what I do. And that was what Wisconsin International University offered me. It gave me practical skills, step-by-step -step skills of program management from start to finish. So right now, I have very practical skills of managing trainings, and I am very proud of that. In five years from now, I foresee myself lecturing part-time with university, Wisconsin University here, and pursuing my PhD. Wisconsin International University is a good place to come 
because as I explained earlier, lecturers are very friendly and very aff uh, affable. Uh, you could assess your lecturers anytime. And again, the evening programs offer anybody the opportunity to pursue professionalism and uh, attain higher education. Yes.